What's going on, Gems? Jillian here from Gym Naturals, and welcome to my Q&A series, where I encourage my subscribers to head over to my Instagram, DM me a question, and I will answer it in an upcoming video. So with all that being said, let's get to these questions. Oh, and by the way, my shirt says, guess what? Because I am a child. First question says, hello, Jim. My name's Jillian, y'all. It's not Jim, I know, it's Jillian. But it's okay, sometimes I say Jill and I think people think Jill and Jim. I'm Jillian. Jim Naturals is the channel, I'm Jillian. I love you though, it's okay. You didn't know, well now you do. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it says, can you give any advice or tips on where to look for auditions for commercials and voiceover? I have never done either. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I have a full-time job and will be retiring in a few years. I want to work in the film slash production industry and I'm looking for some part-time entry level. Thank you in advance for any info you can give. Yes, I would say when it comes to looking for work, especially when you're first starting out, I would actually suggest uh, taking some acting courses at first uh, just to make sure that you like it because a lot of times it seems like it's a lot of fun until you actually do it and you're like Ugh, no I'm, I'm good or you might fall further in love with the craft so it's a win-win you'll learn either you win or you learn as as I like to call it um, but also with entering into some acting courses you can start to build a community of other actors other teachers and whatnot and they will really help you along your way and your journey when it comes to finding agents when it comes to other courses that you can take or even productions that you could be an extra on just all sorts of good things so it's wonderful to start to build that community now uh, typically when it comes to finding commercial work or voiceover uh, most of the time you want to find an agent to represent you so how that works is you go in you submit to an agent you submit a headshot and all that good stuff um, and they decide if they want to represent you so when they represent you uh, then that that means that um, when a client comes to them and say hey I need a voice that sounds like this or I need a black male who sounds like this the agent says hey I have that criteria I will send these people to audition then you go in and audition and pray to God that you book the role <laughs> so that's kind of how that works in a nutshell uh, you can get auditions without an agent uh, I just would say use extreme caution because there's a lot of things out there that just seem very suspicious but I will say the dead giveaway of a scam is when they want you to pay money to be involved in any sort, any type of way. The only time you pay money is when you're paying for a service, which is a course or maybe an acting or which is a course or a headshot or something like that, but you never, ever, ever pay to audition. You don't pay to get representation. Those are scams. So just be on the lookout for that, but best of luck to you. And be sure to sign up for some acting courses um, to build that community because they are going to be the ones who really hold you up when things get a little shaky because they got you. Next question says, as another woman healing from PCOS, thank you so much for saying healing, baby. You are healing, yes. Yes, yes. Can you recommend any recipes that jump started you into veganism? I am struggling heavily and will take any help you can offer. My favorite one, and I actually still eat it to this day, is the chickpea burger. It doesn't look like much, but when I tell you it is delicious, uh, that is probably my, my first one where I tried it and I was just like, Okay, this ain't half bad. I will link all of this in the description, but that came from Ty's Conscious Kitchen. That is a YouTube channel. Um, a second YouTube channel that I love is called Blended Adobe. And the third one is called Just Alkaline Vegan. They are just wonderful resources to find uh, different recipes or even experiment a little bit. Um, a lot of them, they'll have links in the description of where you can find certain ingredients because as I'm sure you've noticed being alkaline, uh, that some of the stuff you're just like, what is that? Where do I find find it so they're pretty good with that but those those three were pivotal in me learning uh, how to experiment with veganism and healing my body okay next question says hi my name is Chansey and I love watching your videos thank you thank you thank you so much I am also interested in wanting to be an editor and filmmaking to use those skills to start my own YouTube channel I am so proud right now uh, my school is offering a filmmaking course for 12 weeks I wanted to know is this worth applying for and what are some suggestions that would that you would give to someone who wants to start filmmaking so First off the bat, um, there has been kind of a, um, 
how what do i say mixed reviews to film school some people say you don't need it some people you know they swear by it uh if this is free go for it absolutely go for it um but but what i would say um i'm always for schooling i think schooling is fantastic uh, i will tell you that filmmaking in school um in, in schooling in general um it's fantastic but they they teach you in um, very specific conditions, very uh, enclosed conditions. And when you get out in the real world, you're like, oh, it's not how they taught me in school. So uh, I know a lot of actually all of the filmmakers that I am friends with learned on the job. Uh, they learned from watching other movies, watching other filmmakers, uh, just kind of having that community and learning from each other and being inspired by one another. So um, I would say to your specific question, if you can find any graduates of that 12 week program, um, find any reviews from the school just to find out what people are saying about it, I would highly recommend that you look into that and see um, just if there's reviews so you can make a better decision uh, because I, I feel like the people who have gone through it will probably tell you the truth and say, hey, this was wonderful for me. You know, it gave me more opportunities, X, Y, Z. Or some people could say, eh, you know, save your money. Um, now, my advice to anyone who wants to get into filmmaking, I would say watch as many movies, TV shows as you can. Uh, qual well, I would say quality, but sometimes you can learn some things from the bad ones too. You can learn some things from the bad production because you can learn what not to do. Uh, so I would say... Um, Watch as much as you can. Try to create that community. I, I think when it comes to filmmaking and even, you know, as I mentioned before, acting, um, that community is really important because it's, it, it, I hate to say this, but it's, it's not always, it, what's the saying? It's not always how good you are, but it's who you know. I feel like I butchered that. I feel like that the saying goes differently, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I mean. Um, so it, it's wonderful just to have just that community of people, that tribe, you know, um, find those people who wants the same things that you want in life, who are willing to go for it, who are just as hungry as you are. And it is just a beautiful thing because you'll realize that you're starting to help one another. You know, if you have someone who does sound and you're on a set and like, oh, they need a sound guy hey I got a guy just for you or or somebody can recommend you it's just it just becomes a beautiful thing when you get the right people in your corners so my big advice for anyone who is thinking about getting into filmmaking I I would strongly encourage you to do so uh, just check out as many movies as, as many TV shows and pay attention to the pacing pay attention to the angles that they're using pay attention to uh, just their transitions and try to emulate some of those things because I, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you I'd be selling stuff all the time where I'll see something and I'm like, ooh, I like that angle. Ooh, I like what they did. And then all of a sudden you see it in a Jim Naturals video. So, you know, I would definitely say, um, allow yourself to be inspired because as creatives, we're always borrowing things from, from other people, but I'm, I'm so rambling now, but uh, just make sure you are still putting your spin on it. Don't copy and paste anybody else. Make sure it is you. So hopefully that answered your question. Feel free to DM me if you have any more questions. I would love to hear if you end up applying for this program or what. Uh, I think it would be awesome for you if it works out in your favor. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay beautiful. Peace.